right, DC. Here he is, the one, the only. Don't call him Kevin Ferguson. He, of course, is Kimbo Slice. And when you're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least in my mind. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimbo Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet, except look like it. when that octagon door <laughs> he closes. He doesn't look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. And there he is, folks. Kimbo Slice steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Here he is, folks, a man who needs no introduction to this fan base. Underrated in the looks department, by the way, a man who has won a title in every promotion in which he has competed, the UFC Hall of Famer, Daniel Cormier. John Anik, if looks could kill, <laughs> Daniel Cormier would be America's most wanted. But ultimately, it's about fighting. And this dude can fight from wrestling, an Olympic pedigree, college national All-American, to a double champion in the UFC. He possesses all the skill in the world. And tonight, once again, he tries to get his hand raised. What a phenomenal fighter. And uh, got a model body, too. Good body. <laughs> great smile. 2018, as many of you know, was the year of Daniel Cormier. You can argue his win over Stipe Miocic to rest away the heavyweight title is the singular biggest win in mixed martial arts history. And now DC back on the proven ground tonight. We'll see how he handles this heavyweight challenge. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. Well, when you fight a guy like Daniel Cormier, our UFC light heavyweight champion, you gotta be mindful of the wrestling. Also a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And oh, slams his opponent to the ground. And now is where things could get really interesting. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is in the big four right? Nice double leg, nice finish. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by DC. Oh, big shots from the top. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Nice strike from bottom position. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, hammer fist here by Cormier. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by DC. Side control now. Oh, 
Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent. And make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Lands with the ground and pound here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Right to the neon belly. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything with the target. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to him. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by DC. Takedown defense holds up. Short uppercut in the clinch by DC. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Now some spacing as they exit. Oh, what a land right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Right now, it looks like he fade. He tried to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, he could learn. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to long for himself to get subbed. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. But he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Cormier's right back to the full mount here. Oh. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, 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 no takedown is not fault. No, 
reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Slice. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Just misses with a straight run. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot, man. a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Cormier gets the single leg takedown. Beautiful transition. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. <laughs> trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. He's up. What submission defense on this play? My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. if they call in the ringside position. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is a perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot. And that will do it.
now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at 28 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the 